Bill had to come back this week. He on top of that. <laughs> if you miss me, I really didn't go nowhere, but you know me. But anyway, man, you know what time it is, man. You know, I want y'all to go ahead and hit, hit that like button. I got a very, very interesting story um, coming right out of Flint, Michigan, man. Shout out to everybody from Michigan, man. I got potters out of Michigan, man. My brother played ball at the University of Michigan, so on that note, go blue. You know what that shit means. You know what I'm talking about. If you if you know, you know, man. Go blue. But um, this story right here, man. As I was looking up stories, you know, I said, man. You know, I haven't been making videos, man. I sent my goddamn computer to the hospital, to the computer hospital. You know what I'm saying? I had to nurse my baby up. You know what I'm saying? She was like, goddamn, nigga, be working me hard, man. You know what I'm saying? Shit. So I had my baby some new fans. You know what I'm saying? Some new cleaning shit. Just a little tune up. A little tune up for the computer. You know what I'm saying? But this story right here, man, is real touching to me. All right. Um, mental health court graduation offers Flint men a second chance. I'm going to read a little bit of an excerpt of the story. As y'all know, through all my videos, the link to everything I would, that I'm showing you will be in the description box you know what i'm saying so make sure that you pay attention to the description box to get these links so you can see what i'm talking about to let y'all know the trail pill ain't coming up with, with no bull you know what i'm saying with no bull job as the old head say you know what i'm saying um but before i get to the story man i, I the reason why i do that is because even still to this day certain videos that i have even with me labeling where I got my sources from and whatnot, YouTube be on some bullshit talking about some false information. And I always sort cite my sources. I learned that from school. I always cite your sources. Don't just show the so like don't just show the shit and then not cite your sources where you got them from. Especially if they didn't come from you. That my brothers and sisters called plagiarism. If I'm not mistaken, you know what I'm saying. So I always cite my sources on all my videos, and YouTube be tripping. You know what I'm saying. But you know how they get. You know how they get. And you got brothers giving out good information to our people. That's just something to tell y'all on the back end of it. I don't say it a whole lot because I don't feel the, the need to say it. Come still gonna do whatever the hell I do. At the same time, I want to let y'all know that I appreciate you know uh, y'all support. Uh, the cash apps and things of that nature. I appreciate all those things because that makes me know that what I'm doing is not in vain and that people are really being receptive to the information that I'm giving out. You know what I'm saying? It's all 100% facts. I'm not pulling nothing like you, you won't catch me clickbaiting on here, doing no type of wild shit, no, no type of weird shit. You know what I'm saying? All this shit is 100% factual and beneficial. And anything that I use, I would always put the links in the, the in the um little box down there. You know what I'm talking about. But anyway, look, man, let me see this goddamn story, man. I'm way too excited. Let me calm down. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, mental health core graduation office Flint man a second chance. Now, Flint, Michigan resident Aaron Richards expected to come to court Wednesday um, to hear the announcement of his mental health court graduation. What the 30 year old did not expect to happen was probate judge Jenny Barkley to announce the clearance of his felony record. Richards, who pleaded guilty in July 2021 to one count of unarmed robbery, began tearing up with his family by his side. He said, I want I wanted to do backflips. You know what I'm saying? Today has meant freedom, and I'm thankful for a clean slate on my record. 
I would have thought, um, oh, I thought I would never have. There were plenty of times I wanted to give up, but I had to fight mentally and emotionally. Now, um, Aaron Richards started the mental health counseling program in August 2020. He was scheduled to graduate the program in, in November. He said in the very beginning, it was a terrible start. It, um, it was especially hard when it came to the uh, screenings. I was basically not coming in clean a lot of times, but I put a lot of effort and hard work, and I'm just grateful. He thanked everyone involved that helped, including his family and Barkley. He also took a moment out to point out to thank Robin Cohen, a therapist he was transferred to work with over the past year. She's pretty much the reason why I wanted to do right. Now, Cohen said that her biggest challenge was developing trust between herself and Richards. He was very quiet and shy, said um, Cohen or Calvin, however you want to say it. She has worked as a therapist for 20 years. Uh, she also said that uh, she, th she thought after the first session, I knew he didn't belong in the system. So my goal was to help guide him through, and I was hoping it played out the way it did today. I'm on cloud nine, and this is what makes it all worthwhile. Richards has a message for those who are just starting out in the mental health counseling program. What he wants to tell y'all is, what I want them to know is to keep fighting and keep going hard, he said. Please listen to those who are giving you the tools, knowledge, and advice to literally go through the program without any struggles. You might have a couple bumps because you feel like the program isn't doing much for you, but in actuality, it is doing a lot. So Richards has worked at Catholic Charities of Shiawassee and Genesee County for six, month, six months and is in charge um, of the, the organization's donation area all right um lady named redonna riggs works at the catholic charities um and she uh let's see and she said uh, as a young black man in flint it's hard not to go off with the, with the gangs and not go off and do what other people are doing Riggs said he has stayed positive and kept pushing himself because he knew he had his support system he has been so awesome and has grown a lot so, like I said, that's basically um, the whole um, article. You know, he also said that he, he has never been out of Michigan a day in his life. And he said, I'm going to stay away from negative influences. Uh, that comes from uh, M Live. It's also an article on the Flint Journal and a few other places. But I'm going to put this link in the description box. Let me tell you how dope this is, right? Because all day, every day. You know what I'm saying? I also going to go through some of the pictures. We got to show off the pictures. You know what I'm saying? Um, the whole reason why those guys are in there is supposed to be rehabilitation. All right? Yeah, you did your crime. Yeah, you got caught. Yeah, you got locked up for it. But at the end of the day, you're still a human being. Serve your time. You know what I'm saying? But we all know the people who have come out of Department of Corrections from or whatever states, you know, they got locked up in. Um, you hear all type of these horrific stories. And, you know what I'm saying? For me, it kind of breaks my heart a tad, a tad bit because, yeah, um, everybody done, done some shit. You just ain't get caught yet. You know what I'm saying? So nobody is better than anybody in this thing. It's just that these are still human beings. They locked up, and, and this system is fucked up. And I keep telling y'all, the system is fucked up. You know what I'm saying? And there's so many young black men that get put into these situations. Like, in a place like Flint, where it's not a lot of opportunities there. I've been there before. I know folks that are from there. You know what I'm saying? And they tell me, this, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's one of those things where... I tell them about my city, they tell me about theirs, it just go go back go back and forth. You know what I'm saying? I can relate to it. I grew up in South Dallas, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and South Dallas is a place that's five to eight percent below the poverty line. So as a young black man growing up in these type of areas, um, where there are there aren't any opportunities, and you might say, well, 
well, you, you live in Dallas, you know, or, or, or you from Dallas, maybe, yeah, eh. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if, you, if y'all been to South Dallas, but we ain't got no major shit down there. E- everything that's that's that, that's 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 of um for you to make a decent living, you don't have to leave that area, go miles away, go down the road, go 20 minutes. Like you, you're really going to have have to commute. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, and the way they kind of got it blocked off, it's the reason why. We call South Dallas the island. Just look at the, the geographical settings of it. Look at all the highways and how all that shit. How South Dallas is right in the smack dab. All the highways. You know what I'm saying? It's cut off from all that shit. That's strategic. You know what I'm saying? So in a place like Flint, where you know we, you know, um, you know, got, you know, got, got the water crisis there. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if, if the water is still healthy there, but you know how that go. You know what I'm saying? You know how fucked up that shit is. You know what I'm saying? So just imagine. You know what I'm saying? This is another instance. I'll, like I always say, pick your city, pick your state, pick your hood. It's rough. We look we come from the slum. A lot, lot, lot of us come from the slums. We come from the ghetto. We don't have a lot. There are not a lot of positive influences in this shit. It's just not. There are not a lot of people providing an opportunity in these places. It's just not. That's the truth. All right? The only reason why they come to the hood, they come and get their rappers, they come and get their athletes, you know what I'm saying? They come and get their women, and then they gone. You know what I'm saying? And in the same time, you got so many people when you don't have an opportunity to make money and, and provide for your family. A lot of young black men are going to get it how they live. You know what I'm saying? It's a doggy dog world. It's kind of like the Mortal Kombat Tower. You know what I'm saying? And everybody's fighting to be at the top. You know what I'm saying? But like a, a lot of my partners who were in the streets, man. They didn't. They didn't. They, they didn't necessarily want to be in the streets. They were kind of pushed away because they didn't have no, no other way. They didn't know no other ways. They just had to get it. You know what I'm saying? Bills gotta be paid. You know what I'm saying? Your pops not there, or your mama not there, or you might, or neither one of them not there. You might um, stay with your granny. You know what I'm saying? Um, she's sick. She need money. Lights gotta stay on. Lights getting cut off. Water getting cut off. Somebody got to do something. So, any when you put a man in a in, in any type of situation where you got to do something, it's an innate ability to be like, okay, I gotta get out here and go for what I know. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of times, these dudes that people be talking about, oh, it's so harsh criminals and all that. They human beings, and people never really take the time out to to say, "Well, damn, I wonder how he got there." You know what I'm saying? I I wonder why he got there. You know what I'm saying? And you know, um, if we gave him a better chance or any resources or anything, how would that would have? You know what I'm saying? How would they get? Uh, hold on, man. I'm trying to get my thoughts together because. I got about four or five of them going through my head at one time. Like, if you give the people that are in these situations more resources, you know what I'm saying, more positive ways to going out and getting this money, I guarantee you they'll do it. Nobody wants to put their life in danger. Nobody does. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't care what none of the hardest gangsters or whatever niggas say. N- nobody is ready to go. You got kids, you got life to live, you know what I'm saying? You got things you want to do, you know what I'm saying? But sometimes that is the risk. That is the risk when you are when you're in the streets. At the same time, you get locked up. A lot of these guys, they come out worse after they get locked up than they did before they got locked up. And it's like, well, damn, I thought... Prison and jail is supposed to rehabilitate. 
but there is no rehabilitation that's going on inside of this shit. So shout out to um let me find her name real quick and then we're gonna go we're gonna go in these pictures. You know what I'm saying? Because uh I think this shit is dope, man. Um what is this lady's name, man? Let's go through this shit and see. Um the therapist's name was uh Robin Cowan, a Cowan. Shout out to her, you know what I'm saying? Um Jenny Barkley. I met that that's this lady right here. Jenny Barkley. We're gonna go through a few of these pictures. And then, you know, we're gonna close we're gonna close this shit on that. You know what I'm saying? Let's see. Uh how can we go through the pictures though? Let's see. They gave me the option. Huh. Hit the goddamn button. Okay. Alright. There we go. There we go. So right here, that is Jenny Barkley. And that's our that's our guy right there, man. Aaron Richards, man. Big Aaron, man. That's our guy right there, man. Like I said, the cool thing was the fact that not only did he graduate out of the mental health counseling counseling program, is that the judge cleared his felony record. Like y'all don't understand. Like I've heard so many of my partners say, "Man, it's hard to, to get out here with a felony." You know what I'm saying? And do anything because of how it is out here, you know what I'm saying? So she cleared his record, basically giving him a second chance at doing anything he wants to do. And he's still young. He, he's only 30. So he's still young. You know what I'm saying? But shout out to the whole program that is there, man, because, you know, it's so difficult. And I wish we had more programs like this and more stories like this because a lot of those guys that are in that system that are locked up don't really they don't belong in there. You know what I'm saying? They don't belong on there. They just was trying to go out and get some money, and they were willing to take the, you know, the, the risk and the consequences of what came with it, and they got caught, so they're dealing with it. That don't mean that they're necessarily bad guys. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, we've all done some shit. We just ain't, you know what I'm saying? You just ain't, ain't got caught yet. I know I done done some shit. I ain't gonna talk about it, but I done done some shit, and I ain't never been caught for it. Thank you, Jesus. You know what I'm saying? But for the ones who have been caught and they're in there, they serve their time. They're taking that shit right, you know, right on the chin, pause. You know what I'm saying? They 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 not tell it. You know what I'm saying? They 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 doing what they're supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? And they're getting out of there back into this free world and they're finding out how hard it is to move around when you got a felony and this and that. You know what I'm saying? So him getting that record expunged is so important now. Right here, I would assume that's his mother. You know what I'm saying? That's his mother right there and his family. You know what I'm saying? So all this is just dope to me. So the biggest thing I also noticed that he said is he had a support system, which is also very important. You know what I'm saying? He trusted his support system, his people, his family. And, and and I I can't express how important it is to have a support system. Like I said, a lot of my partners didn't have a support system. You know what I'm saying? So even when they got out, they still was doing some of the things that, that, that got them locked up. They had to learn the hard way. You know what I'm saying? So a support system is always important. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't be like, man, I, I, I don't care what your family member did. You know what I'm saying? Unless it was some totally violent, egregious shit with some with some kids and, and some other shit. That fuck that shit. We talking about just some regular shit, drugs, robbery. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, whatever. Like I said, ain't nobody knows playing around this bitch. So we are gonna sit here and, and act like you know what I'm saying. Everybody is or anybody is just perfect. You know what I'm saying? That's why everybody needs a support system. You know what I'm saying? A support system was just as important as the therapist, all right? You know what I'm saying? It's just as important because you need people to go and make sure and keep you on the right track. The same way, it's kind of like, it's kind of like a football game in a sense. You out there playing the game, shit. The game wouldn't be shit without the people in the crowd, your fans supporting you. They are your support system. The ones who love you. 
ones who care about you. So look at all this love right here. And, and I, you know, uh, this is the part where, you know, she told him that his record would be expunged. And the good brother, Aaron Richards, broke down in tears. I broke down too. But look at all the love he's getting from his family. Look at all them hugs. Look at my guy right there. You know what I'm saying? Pound to the chest. You know what I'm saying? Smile on his face. See, this is why pages like mine and other pages get fucked with. The system, the algorithm, whatever the fuck you want to call it, they only want they only want you to see the negative part. They don't want you to see a black man smiling. You know what I'm saying? They'll w rather show you a video loop of somebody laid the fuck out, shit pushed back, bleeding out, but they won't show you no videos or no pictures of no black men smiling and feeling good about themselves, feeling great about themselves after a great accomplishment. They don't show that loop over and over again. This is probably the first time you heard about this story. If you're not in this area, you know what I'm saying? I mean, if you're in Michigan, you probably heard about it. But, you know what I'm saying? This 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 story deserves national attention because it's, it's stories like these that set the bar for what this shit is supposed to be for. This is how, it, it, this is how it's supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? This is how it's supposed to be. It just is. You know what I'm saying? It just is. You get in, you do your time, go through your program, you get out, and have a chance at life. Everybody deserves a chance at life. Like I said, man, ain't, ain't nobody knows clean around this shit. We don't know all this some dirt. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter. It don't matter how big or how small, man. Dirt is dirt. You know what I'm saying? But in the meantime, look at my guy pound to the chest. You know what I'm saying? A real nigga. You know what I'm saying? Oh, whoa. <laughs> that is the judge. That's the probate judge, Jenny Barkley. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to let y'all roast her in the comment section. But shout out to her. You know, don't, don't roast her too hard because she did do what she do. Shout out to her for... Um, noticing and for doing that you know what i'm saying because like i said man a lot of y'all ain't never sat in a court don't matter whether it was um you know all the courts i don't sat in court before i ain't never been arrested before but shit, i don't been to goddamn family court and that feeling of just sitting down in court and letting somebody tell you what you can and what you can't do and all the fucking <laughs> paperwork and seeing your name got a case number on it like you know what I'm saying that shit ain't cool and, and nine times out of ten that shit will not be in your favor so shout out to Jenny Barkley man like I said all his love that he's getting right you know what I'm saying all his love all that love you know what I'm saying you don't see that a lot that's what they don't want you to see I guarantee you on the other side of this is some asshole talking about oh, how she can just let her in. You know what I'm saying? Some assholes talking down on shit like this when that's how it's supposed to be. This this is supposed to be the standard. A lot of our black men are locked up in prison, in jail for an impulsive decision. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, serve your time, go through a program, and you should be able to get your shit wiped clean. You know what I'm saying? At least the first time. Now, now if you keep doing the shit, Nigga, you just like the shit, but at least the first time, you should be able to get your shit wiped clean if you go through a program, a mental health program, or any type of program that, that you have to go through, you know what I'm saying, and have a second chance on life, man, because you only get one of them, you know what I'm saying, that's mama right there, you know what I'm saying, y'all see that, that's mama right there, that's mama. Look how proud she is. Look how proud she is. You know what I'm saying? Look at that. That's real love right there. You know what I'm saying? They don't want to show you images like that. That's why they be flagging my shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Talking about false, false information. 
when they all let niggas get on here and argue all day and night over stupid shit and and, and niggas out here just capping and shit but shit like this they'll say oh it's false information now nah, and nothing false about what i'm doing over here at the goddamn material field it's all authentic it's all 100 if you're going to test it look at that bitch y'all damn you know what i'm saying it's real love right there now at this point by by look on everybody's faces i imagine this is the point where she will she say hey all your shit is all your shit is, is, is gone i've cleaned your slate huh i've cleaned your slate you, you know look at everybody's face oh my god oh shit. you know what i'm saying like he said it, that's something that he wasn't expecting but he has a second chance in life look at him and mama right there you know what i'm saying that's him and mama you know what i'm saying the therapist like i said man the link will be in the description box man there are still good people in this world don't lose hope it's all right you know what i'm saying don't lose hope y'all you know what i'm saying especially if you got oh man that picture right there especially if you have people that you love that are locked up man like pmc say man send them, send them something or or just give them some words of, of encouragement or, or something man like just don't you know so or just be there whenever they get out or just, just just be of you know what i'm saying just be a part of the support system don't be a bitch ass nigga that's what i'm trying to say you know what i'm saying a lot of these people they go to jail man and they get forgotten and it's like damn it's fucked up they still human beings and they locked inside of a cage yeah they did their crime or they, they still human beings they still deserve their respect as a human you know what i'm saying so i see things like this to where this guy's record get, gets wiped out a a, a a felony of armed robbery gets wiped out and he's 30 years old he's still young that man can do anything that he wants to do and he's doing it right now he's volunteering at catholic charities he's doing his thing he's over to the whole donations department so shout out to my dog i don't know him but i feel like i do shout out to aaron richards aaron if you're watching this shout out to you you know what i'm saying congratulations you know what i'm saying congratulations because you are setting a standard your words are going to affect others in your situation. You know what I'm saying? And just like you said, keep doing what you do. Keep the faith. All my niggas are locked up. Keep the faith. Keep the faith and keep going. I know it's hard. I, I know it's rough. You know what I'm saying? Um, Man. This shit right here is, like I said, this one of the best stories that I've seen all year. Because you don't see a lot of stories like this. Like they're not going to put this on the news and 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 spin it a million times where you can see it. You know what I'm saying? They're not going to do it because it's positive. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because it's positive. You know what I'm saying? Like. They'll show you a mama crying, but they want to show you no mama smiling with their son after a big, a huge accomplishment. Look at him. You can't. That, that's priceless. That's priceless right there, bro. So shout out to Aaron. Shout out to my dudes. Shout out to the whole family. Shout out to the judge, Jenny Barkley. Shout out to Robin Cohen and um the whole team um out there in Genesee county that's the county that flint is in i believe flint is the largest city in Genesee, and it has the largest seat in the county so shout out to people that are working hard that are really really raising the bar when it comes to rehabilitating these young men you know what i'm saying that feels good to see because my whole thing is this 
You see how that worked, right? Now imagine if we had these type of services early in childhood as we are growing up in these rough in these rough ass areas. Or in any area, but especially these rough ass areas, where just imagine if we had the access to mental health programs and all that shit early. It wouldn't be as many of us getting locked up. I, I, I guarantee goddamn to you. You know what I'm saying? It wouldn't be as many of us getting locked up if we had these services early. That's the whole point. You know what I'm saying? The access. Being able to go and ask them. You know what I'm saying? And at the same time that society shit because our society at one point in time was trying to tell niggas to hold it in and uh if you you know what I'm saying and, and you ain't a man if you if you cry and all that other bullshit and that fucked us off too don't hold that shit in cause you hold that shit in a nigga gonna you know what I'm saying step around your your brand new Jordans, and you fuck around and shoot that nigga, and now you're going to jail for a whole lifetime because of an impulsive decision. You know what I'm saying? At least give yourself enough grace to stop and think about what are the consequences of me of me doing this. You got kids. You got a girl. You got a mama. You got a family. You know what I'm saying? I mean, just think about it. I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm just here to give you the information on give yourself time to think. Give yourself time to express yourself in different ways. Give yourself time to really, really heal. A lot of us growing up in these, in these neighborhoods have seen some traumatic shit. So our minds are fucked up as as uh, adolescents, and as we grow, there's nobody trying to help us clear our minds. And then we grow as adults. Then we start going through shit. Then we start doing shit because we think it's normal until we find out that it's not. And then we have to go to therapy. And then we have to unpack all this shit. And now you sitting there 25, 26 years and you're having to unpack all the childhood traumas, all the environment, um, environmental traumas, everything that happened around you. You're having to unpack that because there were no resources for you to unpack that as, you, you know, as a child. And hopefully by then you're still free. You know what I'm saying? So, as fucked up as this system is, you know what I'm saying? It's good to see that it's still people that are out here working hard. You know what I'm saying? Doing the Lord's work. <laughs> That's how good people gonna say it, man. Well, on, on that note, man, Shout out to Big Aaron Richards, man. Shout out to you, bro. Congratulations. Uh, God bless. I hope, you know what I'm saying? Um, I hope that you thrive in this shit, and I hope that you really become a pillar of your community as you already on your mission to be shit, as you already are, to be honest. You know what I'm saying? And um, God bless y'all. God bless the, uh, you know, God bless the family, and God bless y'all. You know, it's Sunday. I'm about to watch some football. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Got to chill out. But I have to get this video off because it's very important for us to see things like this because the news they ain't gonna show us this shit. You ain't gonna see this shit probably on your algorithms. Fuck the algorithm. That's what I say. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna create my own algorithm around this bitch. Fuck the one that. They, that they're giving us because the one that, that the algorithm that, that, that they feeding us with 
in our feeds. They, get, they call it a feed for a reason. They feeding you bullshit. Every time you get on your phone, they feeding you bullshit. You know what I'm saying? They get killed. They whole goddamn top push back. Face gone, everything. Bleeding out on the stairs, all on the floor. And everybody watching get millions and thousands of views. Some bullshit gets thousands of views. But shit like this don't get as much views because, oh, it's positive. You know what I'm saying? They only want to... They, they only want us to see us in certain ways. They only want to see us in certain ways. They ain't going to tell you the truth. They ain't going to tell you or give you the information to help you out. They make you dig and find that shit. And then there's niggas like me. I've been half my shovel. That's in the mix. I'm going to keep giving you information and keep bringing you these stories the best way that I can. I'm gonna keep digging and find these stories and put them right here on my platform at the Trail Pit because that's what I'm about. The information, the awareness. This is our culture. You know what I'm saying? This is our culture. We gotta do what we can to flip the script in our culture because our, our culture is headed in a very dangerous and dark direction. It's gonna take niggas like me and a bunch of other people. To flip this script to where we start seeing ourselves in more positive pictures, in more positive situations, more positive stories, you know what I'm saying? More breakthrough stories. You know what I'm saying? I'm tired. Of, I don't know about you. I'm tired of seeing niggas that look like me dead. On my TV, I know niggas is dying, but everybody else is too. They don't show everybody else dying, lay it down on the ground, bleed now. They don't show everybody else getting beat up. It's only us, and you gotta ask yourself, why does it seem like it's, it, it, it's only us when you know damn well it's not, All right? trip here monumental to stay I fucked up my own slogan it's a trip here <laughs> monumental to be monumental stay true in here and most of all stay mentally trill man I love y'all y'all check them parlay sheets about that time you know what I'm saying Parlay, but that time, check them parlays. Y'all have some good Sunday dinner. Send trip to the plate. All the, all the ladies out there, you might want to leave mine in the microwave. I slide by and get it. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to slide by and get my plate right the microwave, baby. You know how we play it, man. It's a trip pill, man. I love y'all. God bless y'all. Y'all have a very, very beautiful day. Shout out to Aaron Richards and his family. Because that's keeping it true. That's most definitely being mentally true. You feel what I'm saying? Much love, y'all. <laughs>
Law enforcement is not equipped to manage things like this. In fact, this often causes exacerbation as opposed to de-escalation. This has resulted in the death and further harm of people who were going through mental health crises, especially those who live in black and brown communities. This helps to reduce the likelihood of us having to rely on law enforcement in order to help us when we're in times of need. I hope this information was helpful. Don't forget 988. You can call or text that number whenever you or a loved one is going through. You don't want to be 58 right now.